Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers coming to you from the State Capitol Building in downtown Lansing. Our topic today is state contract disclosures and joining us now to talk about it is State Representative Tim Grimal, a Democrat from the 29th District, which represents Pontiac and Auburn Hills. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. It's great to be back on the show. And uh, you and the rest of the Democrats, I should mention, have recently introduced a bill that would uh, do what? Create more transparency when hiring folks to do business with the state of Michigan? That's exactly right. Uh, this came to light recently uh, a couple years ago when the state was in uh, budgetary difficulty and was asking a lot of people to sacrifice uh, cutting education funding raising taxes on seniors uh, the senate at the time rightly said we should reduce and cap the amount of money that the state spends on its furniture contract uh, to supply state employees offices with furniture uh, the governor's cousin supplies furniture to the state and at the governor's cousin's request, Governor Snyder's cousin, George, uh, is request, the legislature, legislative Republicans in both the House and the Senate, decided that they didn't want to cap furniture expenditures after all, and they ended up actually expanding the amount that the state spends on furniture over a number of years. Uh, we think that that's wrong, that this was an instance of conflict of interest with the uh, cousin of Governor Snyder exerting undue influence and we think that all elected officials uh, whether in the executive branch or the legislative branch and all top unelected officials who have a role in contracting should disclose potential conflicts of interest that they may have or their family members. I just assumed that's the way it was not only at the state level no. but at the county and the local level that if you had some I mean there's certainly been lots of media stories mm -hmm. in the last five ten years right. at all levels of government where somebody's mm -hmm. friend buddy mm -hmm. relative was was benefiting. Yep. Um, not that that's necessarily a bad thing but what you're saying is if that we should know about that ahead of time. Well that's exactly right we should know about it ahead of time and it should not influence the decisions that are being made by government at any level and it is a problem you're right not just at the state level but at the local level as well and I'm sure the federal level it's a big problem it, you would think that these safeguards would already be in place but unfortunately they're not and we House Democrats believe that we need to put these controls and safeguards in place to make sure we're keeping state government honest. So this reform package that's been introduced, what exactly would it do? Yeah, it would require, uh, we, we had already introduced a package of bills earlier in this session to require these disclosures of state legislators. And we recently introduced some bills that would do the same thing for the executive branch, requiring the governor as well as his top officials who have anything to do with contracting to disclose any potential conflicts of interest that they or their family members might have when it comes to state contracting decisions. And then I know part of the bill is actually uh, where you're going to designate any money that you might save to go to. Well, that's right. Uh, another bill that we've introduced would reduce the amount of money that the state spends on furniture to exactly where the state Senate suggested it should be a couple of years ago. And we would take the savings from that and invest it in local school districts around the state. So give the money back to the schools and uh, certainly maybe not so, maybe even furniture for the schools, right? But not so much for the uh, folks in the, in the state capital. Well, that's exactly right. Uh, state bureaucrats and state politicians don't need more and better furniture. We need to get that money in the classroom. We'll make a difference in our young people's lives. All right, thank you so much for joining us thank today. Thank you, great to be on the show. Thank you. Today's Comcast Newsmaker was State Representative Tim Grimal, a Democrat from the 29th District.